Hi, this is a follow-up video on using the compound feature in Orca. What I'm testing today is how to retrieve automatically data from the Orca calculation and copy it into a file. So that would allow us to process that information in another program, in a graphing program, for example. So this took me a few trial and errors, and I'm just going to show the result. Here we have a, an input file for a structure of a methanol water cluster, just as before. The structure doesn't matter. I'm not going to focus on the calculation, actually. But I'm going to say that I'm using the read data .cmp file. This is version E because I have tested several things and I'm using eight cores and I will run this on a cluster, but all of this can be done in one's computer. So this is a .cmp file that I wrote today, which was based on the different examples in the Orca GitHub page and reading the manual. So there's only one calculation in here. It's a geometry optimization followed by a frequency calculation. And this is just a test to see how I can read print and then retrieve information from the output file. So I am defining a few variables, but the ones are, that I care most about are frex uh, variable, which is an array. So these brackets define an array type variable. And the fact that there's no number inside means that the size of that array is unknown. This is allowed by the compound scripting language. And then nfrec, is the number of frequencies which I will need for subsequent analysis. So there's only one calculation. Here I'm doing a geometry optimization using PV0 and a subsequent frequency calculation. Then I'm reading some variables which I'm doing mostly for testing purposes. And here the number one corresponds to the first calculation. So I'm only doing one calculation in here. So one will be the name for everything. But for example, the electronic energy is a double number. It's a floating point number. It's a single number. All of these are except for the frex. The frequencies variable, the frex variable is an array that is read from the thermofrex keyword. So all these keywords in capital letters are uh, obtained from the manual. We cannot define any keyword. We have to use only the ones that are defined in the manual in chapter nine. So what I then will do is print a series of statements. So first I print the number of frequencies is, and then I use this formatting string to define that I will print the nfrec number, which in this case will be 27. I will print it using four digits as an integer. So this is an integer. I have to use this setup. I could change this for, for example, for two or three digits. Depends on how many frequencies I expect. So four digits, it's okay. Then I print an empty line and then I print the frequencies R. So I have three lines here that are basically like a header for the information I want to print and retrieve. Then what I do is a for loop. So I prec is a variable that will change from zero to the number of frequencies minus one. So if I have 27 frequencies, this will go from zero to 26 because Orca counts these things starting from zero. Then what I will do is print all these variables, but there are 27 frequencies because it's an array of size 27. So I'm printing each element of the array in a single line. And I have to use this formatting option. So what I'm seeing here is that I'm using five digits for the integer part of each frequency and two digits for the decimal part. And then the LF, which is shorthand for a floating point number or some other option. So this is not a one, this is LF. Then I have to end for, this is important because if not the end of the compound script will come just after the print and then the for loop will be finished. So after the end for, I have the end. So I will run this and I have a shell file that I will show later. And this will produce the following output. I have already run this and I can show you there are many files, but I'm going to check the output file. So I will do tail minus n 
300 lines and the output file and this will show me the last 300 lines in the output so here it says orca terminated normally and it prints all the variables that i have requested so these are all the frequencies but i'm not going to look at this part because i want to print my variables in a way that i can easily read them using some other command bash commands into a separate file so here after the analytical frequency calculation, basically when the job finished, I printed these lines. For example, this command print printed this line. Then there was a or a line containing only spaces, and then the frequencies are here, and then I'm printing all the frequencies from zero to number twenty six. Okay, so after this printing section the final information that the orca output file or, or the compound script instructions do is printing all the variables but what i want to do is actually to retrieve this information into a different file so in order to do that i have used the bash language in my shell file so if i go here what i'm doing here is basically my normal way of calling orca and producing an output file here then what I do is use the grep Linux command, which searches for regular expressions. And I'm searching for this line, the number of frequencies is. And I'm only searching for one line containing this in this file, in my output file. Sorry, this should have been E, but it doesn't matter. And then the output of this command is search using this command is another regular expression for searching only for digits because I want the number 27 that was following this string. Here, I want this number. So basically, this second part of the grep command is retrieving this number. And all of this is written here into a variable called result. It could be in, called in any other way. So have in mind that there are quotation marks and then these dollar signs tell me that basically I'm transforming that into a number. But this is actually being stored as a text, as a string in the result. And then what I'm doing here is grepping a certain number of lines after and including the number of frequencies is. And I'm searching that certain number of lines, which is stated here from my output file, and I'm printing that into a separate file that has the same name but has a freq subscript and it's a text file it could it could be anything so basically my result is the number 27 but as a string and using this command i'm transforming that into i'm retrieving the result of that string that's 27 but i'm evaluating that as a number so this will output 30. this is because i want 30 lines starting from here so my frequencies are 27 but i have three extra lines so if i do this i can search again for that output file and i can tail this and simply my output file contains only these lines this is much easier to read from for example a matlab octave or python or origin or something else than reading the whole output file of course in this case printing the frequencies is not such an important task but this could be used for printing many other things and in the future i will use this to retrieve for example ubv's information i can copy the file and open it just so that you see the optimization so here you can see the different structures i can also copy the output file so here we can see the optimization steps there was only one because as i did many trials after the first trial i just put the already optimized structure in the input file so i would not have to repeat the optimization each time but here you can see the optimized geometry with the frequencies so these are different frequencies so i hope this was useful if you want to know how to retrieve information from orca automatically and if you have any suggestions of possible uses of these kind of features, how to retrieve other information from Orca, please let me know in the comments and I will try to implement that in future videos. Thank you very much.